Hello people, we want to look at febrile seizures in this uh, video. First of all, let us look at some terminologies. See, where, what is seizure? Seizure is an abnormal brain activity. This can lead to convulsions. Convulsions is a muscle activity. When there are many episodes of seizures, you can term it as epilepsy, which is a disease, right? And if there is epilepsy, which is like uh, continuous and not stopping in 30 minutes, etc., then it is status epilepticus, which is an emergency. Now we are talking about febrile seizures. What do you mean by febrile seizures? First of all, for this, the condition is the child should be healthy so far. Okay. It should be between six months to five years of age. It doesn't have any infection of the brain, no intracranial infection, no history of such seizures, etc. But now it gets some fever. Okay. Febrile. So it gets some fever and the fever is high grade, greater than 38 degrees centigrade. Now what happens? The child gets an episode of seizure during this febrile illness. So these people can just have a minor upper respiratory tract infection, some diarrhea or some viral infection or some bacterial infection, malaria, or they could have just taken a vaccine. And after this, they would develop a fever. Because of a high grade fever, they will get a seizure. This is febrile seizure. Okay. Some, most of these children, the cause could be that they have a positive family history. So now what did you understand? The child is absolutely fine. It has nothing like this ever happened to it, uh, right? It is a six month to five year old baby, totally fine, right? It just gets a minor fever, only fever that is high grade fever, greater than 38 degree centigrade. And what happens to this uh, baby uh, or child? It goes and has an attack of uh, seizure. And this is only during this episode of fever. So this is febrile seizure. Now, let's just go one step ahead. There is uh, inside in this, there are two types of um, febrile seizures. You have the simple febrile seizures and then you have the complex febrile seizures. Now, what are these two? Simple febrile seizures and complex febrile seizures. Complex, I don't seem to like at all. Let's see. Simple means it is, um, oh, sorry, where is this simple? Yeah, here. Yeah. Simple is a generalized feature, seizure. Remember, it is not focal. It is not one part of the body. It is general, the entire body. Generalized seizure. But, so generalized seizure, they're calling it as simple. Remember, it lasts less than 15 minutes. So not greater than 15 minutes at all. And it is only once within 24 periods or sorry, 24 hour period of fever. Only once it will get Okay, and again here the condition is that the child should be neurologically normal child. That means before this the child was fine. It did not have any unprovoked uh, seizure or it did not have any intracranial infection. So that becomes simple. Did, did you understand simple? Now let us go to complex. Complex febrile seizure. Uh, look at complex now guys. Complex is complex. What will be there? Everything what we said now that will be opposite. Okay, so uh, it will be focal seizure. Okay. So we'll use a red here and say that it is a focal seizure. Duration is greater than 15 minutes. Okay. Duration is greater than, come on, don't cry. Okay. Duration greater than 15 minutes or it is a recurrent, recurrent seizure within the same febrile illness, within the same febrile illness, within the same fever, illness, recurrent seizures. Okay. This becomes complex. Okay. So, these people, again, they're saying family history might be there in these people. Okay, you should always ask the mother, father if they had such things or if the uh, siblings have this kind of issue. Okay, now what will you do, guys? How will you manage? So basically, lorazepam, midozolam. Then you will follow the protocol of status epilepticus. Very important. What is the protocol of uh, status epilepticus? If it is in status, if the patient presents in status, then you will follow status epilepticus protocol. What is that? First of all, what is status epilepticus? Series of seizures without fully recovering consciousness between these seizures or if the single episode lasts greater than 30 minutes. So how will you manage status epilepticus? Not just the febrile seizures. Here we are talking about status epilepticus. So here you will give airway breathing, circulation. So you will give oxygen, etc. here only. Then you will take some tests of urine, creatinine, urea, creatinine, glucose, electrolytes, all that you will check. Then lorazepam, that is what we already told you, lorazepam, midazolam, etc. Then lorazepam, diazepam, phenytoin, sodium valproate, phenobarbiton, 
okay this is the drugs you have to give one after the other and then keep checking if it doesn't respond to this give this it doesn't respond to this give this so you'll give lorazepam diazepam then you will give phenytoin then sodium valproate phenobarbital just look at the details here we are not going into the details then continuous diazepam infusion respiratory support then they are talking about general anesthesia okay talk about this that next they are moving on to general anesthesia remember ketamine topiramate and there's a lot of other things okay coma you can induce by phenobarbital <clears throat> then after that you can try immunotherapy vagal nerve stimulation dietary therapy epilepsy surgery etc so whenever you want to rule out this intracranial infection etc you should do a lumbar puncture and you have to rule out meningitis remember okay and especially if you don't know the immunization status for hemophilus influenza b and pneumococcus okay so this these can cause meningitis so they want to be sure that it is not meningitis which is causing the seizure hemophilus influenza b is a bacteria which causes meningitis it is not the influenza virus remember okay see uh, they are also talking about prophylaxis you can give diazepam to prevent the febrile seizure so if you see there is a sign of febrile illness also you can start it and you can continue it for the 3 days of the febrile illness what will you give as prophylaxis diazepam very good so this uh, topic in pediatrics about um, uh, febrile seizures did you understand febrile seizures so febrile seizures you understood 6 to 5 years 6 uh, months to 5 years child so it is neurologically fine no meningitis nothing and uh, basically it is having uh, it can have a have either simple febrile seizures or complex febrile seizures how will you treat it uh, lorazepam midazolam etc and if it is status ep epilepticus you will follow status epilepticus protocol just put one word on how <clears throat> what is the mechanism of action on of these drugs okay like benzodiazepine phenobarbital and all those uh, uh, anti epileptic drugs they are going to promote gaba activity and gaba is an inhibitory neuron so it will inhibit right so inhibitory activity will become more in the brain so these people should not drive etc so remember benzodiazepine um it how does it work all these uh, anti epileptic drugs they are going to inhibit the activity of the brain so they promote gaba activity okay now look at this uh, outcome okay people who have uh, febrile uh, seizures right 3% of them can 3 to 12% of these children can develop epilepsy by adolescence it is not because of the febrile seizure what they are saying is these people already will have some hippocampal injury or something or a family history of epilepsy or some pre existing neuro developmental abnormality or this complex febrile seizure this this will increase the risk of epilepsy in uh, by adolescence they can get get okay it is not because of this they are saying that hippocampus has already been damaged by a perinatal insult that is during the delivery or some genetic predisposition okay so that is why um the outcome you should know okay